Miley Cyrus has been keeping busy lately, releasing new music, breaking up with Cody Simpson, and buying up new Hollywood real estate. And her most recent property acquisition, it's in none other than Hidden Hills. This guy's introducing Miley fucking Cyrus. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming to my house. Thank you for sitting under the disco tree. In that interview Miley just did, she shared some juicy secrets about her past, her relationship, and more. But today we'll be focusing on where she calls home, like her new place, her Tennessee farmhouse, and more. We even found some of the listings. Miley Cyrus, born Destiny. Destiny Hope Cyrus is a singer, songwriter, actress, and record producer who has a music style ranging from pop and country pop to hip hop. But whatever she does, it's often a banger. Most of us were introduced to Miley as Disney Channel star with her show and title character Hannah Montana. Her teen idol status brought her fame and success in Hollywood, and it wasn't long until she shapeshifted and found her own identity. Over the years, Miley's not only amassed a huge fan base, but a huge bank account as well. Her current estimated net worth is reportedly at about 160 million. If you recall, Miley lost one of her homes to the California wildfires in 2018 near her beloved Malibu. But with her success, she's been able to pick up the pieces and move on to some other gorgeous properties both in LA and elsewhere, even in her hometown of Franklin, Tennessee. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here in Famous Entertainment. We've done a video on Miley Cyrus's homes in the past, but that was a long time ago and since then she's got some new real estate. We'll take a look at where Miss Cyrus calls home like the new Hidden Hills house she bought this summer. Her place in Tennessee and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Kendall Jenner and her newly renovated place and Rob Zombie and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. We're gonna get started right away with Miley's new home. Although the star continues to own a long time home in LA, which we'll take a look at a bit later, just last month she decided to treat herself to another home in one of the most sought after neighborhoods, Hidden Hills. Of course, the same name comes up a lot when you're dealing with celebrity homes, as plenty of Kardashian Jenners live here and other famous neighbors like Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade and Will and Jada Smith, just to name a few. About five years ago, when Miley was only 22, she put down a very adult $5 million for a Lax country spread in LA's guard gated Hidden Hills Enclave, and since she loves horses, she kept hers there on the five acre farm. In 2018, she sold this property for about the same price she purchased. As you can see, it's not Miley's first rodeo in Hidden Hills, and it seems she missed the place. She put down $4.95 million for a recently renovated contemporary home. The deal was quiet and closed off market, but listing materials describe the place as an East Coast traditional spread sitting on a 1.1 acre lot. At first glance, Miley's new home already shows gorgeous landscaping on the front lawn, a large motor core, and stairs leading you to the home that's covered in bay windows. Inside, the home spans about 6,000 square feet with 6 beds and 6.5 baths. Built in the 1950s but renovated for a modern upscale lifestyle, the classic home now has huge arch windows throughout, higher than average ceilings, and French oak floorboards. Just after the entryway, there are formal living and dining areas, the dining room with a vaulted ceiling, and French doors out to a terrace with views of the neighborhood. Nearby, you'll find a full bar with glass backdrop and attached wine fridge. The gourmet kitchen has a large marble island, stainless steel appliances, and skylights to let in a ton of lights. It flows into another living space with cozy fireplace. Elsewhere in Miley's new home, you'll find the state-of-the-art home theater with eight leather recliners and a 135-inch screen. All half dozen bedrooms bedrooms have en suites, so it seems pretty perfect for having guests over, two of which are master suites, one on the main floor and a larger one on the second level. I'm gonna guess Miley's taking the upstairs one. This suite offers a fireplace, balcony, a walk-in closet, and spacious bathroom with marble lined steam shower and even a glam station. Sounds perfect to me. Moving outside, Miley can unwind however she pleases, either at the lagoon style swimming pool and spa lined by boulders or lounge by the outdoor fireplace. Back here, there's also ample patio space to entertain, an open air pavilion with outdoor kitchen and a dining area. The fenced hillside above the pool remains undeveloped, but Miley has some options. It's easily accessible from the long driveway and according to listing materials, can be used for additional guest quarters, a vineyard, or equestrian facilities. My hunch says that if Miley wants some horses here, she'll turn it into the latter. Although Miley has this new Hidden Hills estate to get excited about, let's not forget she continues to own a getaway in her hometown as well. In 2017, the Tennessee native purchased this gorgeous farmhouse in her hometown of Franklin, just a short drive from Nashville. 
Ridgeville. It sits on an impressive 33.5 acres of land and costs Smiley 5.8 million. Inside, there's 6,689 square feet of living space, 5 beds, and 4.5 baths. I seriously love farmhouses and Miley's is an updated, modern looking one built in 2014 but still has the traditional vibe. Like look at that amazing wraparound porch. Her home is decked out in a lot of stacked stone, wood beam ceilings, and exposed brick and has a rustic chic design in most of the rooms. This secluded property is entered through a private road and elsewhere you'll find a barn style structure which I'd assume she uses as a guest house or space to entertain. In Miley's main home there's a huge kitchen and dining room that merge to create a large common area. There are high vaulted ceilings, a large island with bar seating, and nearby another sitting area and fireplace. Next to this, there's a room with an even higher double height ceiling, which I would call the great room. There's a large stone fireplace, windows letting in a ton of light, and a massive iron chandelier. I think this one's my favorite room in the home. Other features of Miley's farmhouse estate are the spacious indoor outdoor room with a TV, a wet bar, picture perfect bedrooms, most of which are ensuite, and even an elevator elsewhere in the home. Outside, aside from the large patio spaces for entertaining, there's a stone trim pool with diving board as well as a spa. Honestly, looking at this property of Miley's, it's already my favorite. Any glamorous farmhouse like that would be considered a dream home to me. Finally, Miley continues to own a long time party pad located in Studio City, Los Angeles. Located just over the hill from the hustle and bustle that is Hollywood, the quaint neighborhood of Studio City has served as a perfect location for Miley all these years. Purchased back in 2011 for $3.9 million when she was still a youngster, the remodeled mid-century modern home was definitely dubbed a party house. It spans 5,172 square feet of space with 5 beds and 6.5 baths, and is arranged in an H shaped floor plan. At the center sits an expansive living room with floor to ceiling windows that open up to the Instagram famous backyard. Yes, this place was posted a lot. The gated single story estate may look unassuming at first, but listing materials claim the property has unobstructed panoramic views while being super private and renovated from floor to ceiling. Miley's Studio City home offers the ultimate indoor outdoor experience and sits on 1.15 acres of land with a light flooded open floor plan thanks to walls of windows throughout. Inside you'll also find large common spaces including the professional style kitchen and dining areas, skylights and fireplaces. Other features include a private home gym and top of the line security system. Not to mention Miley's master suite here has a ton of floor space and a spa inspired bathroom with steam shower. Outside there's all that glorious entertaining space where Miley has hosted some parties in her day. Besides the huge motor court for guests to park their cars and three car garage, there's also surround sound across the property. Elsewhere, there's a saltwater solar heated pool and spa, cabana, and custom grill. Miley's also decked out the Studio City property with some decorations of her own, like unique statues, a teepee style structure, and more. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here, but we've seen a lot of her houses. After looking at where Miley Cyrus calls home, like her brand new spot in Hidden Hills, her gorgeous farm in Tennessee, and her longtime Studio City party pad, which was your fave? Honestly, I love both the Hidden Hills spot and the farmhouse, but I have to say Miley's place in Franklin is my ultimate favorite. I mean, it's not too often you see a farmhouse that's so modern and impressive, but I guess when you're spending multi-millions on the place, it better be beautiful. As usual, be sure to tell me your favorite Miley property in those comments down below or what you like best about her real estate. Keep the suggestions coming for whose house tour we should bring you next, because I love all the ideas. Follow me on Instagram so we can chat, be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!